Welcome back to my picture sister channel. Today I was going to learn how to make this beautiful drift of shoulder sleeve. This can be styled as a half shoulder like this or you can just have it as a shoulder sleeve depending on what you want. It's a simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you would like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so this is a requested tutorial. And the sleeve was requested, so if you like a tutorial on the body suit as well, kindly let me know in the comment section down below. I'm using organza fabric for this. You can use any fabric of your shirts, but I recommend fabrics that has stretch on bias. Okay, this is a bias foot. So this is normal green. This is horizontal. This is vertical, and this is a bias green. So when you put the fabric on bias like this, you should look out for fabric that will have stretch. So you can see how it's stretchy. But on the normal green, you can see that it, it does not, it, it's not stretchy, it just remains the same, whether horizontal or vertically. But once it's on bias like this, it becomes stretchy. This is because this sleeve can be used as an off shoulder and it can also be placed on the shoulder. So you don't want too much strain on the shoulder area. That's why you want it to be a little flexible so that it can be comfortable on the person wearing it. You don't want the person to be struggling when it's too tight on the shoulder area so to do this i'm just going to simply put my fabric on bias like this okay and another percent of bias like this i'm going to put it on fold so this close side now is going to be like the center point of the sleeve and then depending on the length that you want for your sleeve for me i think around nine inches is okay for me i don't want it too long so it's totally up to you if you don't want the place to be too much you can even use like six inches or seven inches so i just want to make sure that i have enough fabric. this is about it's not up to half yard of fabric you can see there is a leftover fabric i just have i think around this is 29 inches by by 22 inches okay that's what i have so i'm just going to put it on fold like this and then again because i want to cut lining for this so i'm going to put it on food again like this so i can cut the lining and the main fabric together and this is the, going to be my fold point okay so now what i'm going to do is to measure the length so for me i want the length to be around eight to nine inches which is here you can see that i don't have something equal on both sides you still understand why and then the the width of the sleeve depending on how much drape you want you can have like seven inches seven inches on food is 14 or you can just work with your actual sleeve measurements that's your hammer measurement my hammer is seven inches so if i had one inch to that i'm going to have about eight inches so it's totally up to you like i said if you want it to be wide so ideally on this point you should also have eight inches because i don't want to waste fabric and this i'm still going to shape it so i'll just work with my actual sleeve so i figured that chalk is not feasible so i've changed it to a blue chalk so after folding it on the hem i measured the width that i want for my drapes and here i have okay i think i have eight and a half inches here so ideally before you shape it what you have on the hem is what you're supposed to have on the head of the sleeve as well but because my fabric is small as you can see so i'm just going to shape it while on this so on this upper part you need to measure your this is an off shoulder sleeve like i said so how much half that you went when you were drafting your bodies so usually it's around four to five inches so here i'm just going to place my tape here and measure four and a half inches this is the part that is going to rest on your shoulder so here four and a half inches here and then i'm going to make that into a straight line just like we we'll shape our regular off shoulder if you know how to shape your off shoulder i'm sure you understand this so after measuring this four and a half inches sorry it's an organza fabric so it keeps shifting okay the four and a half inches stops here the next thing is to take the the curved side of your ruler and then connect from where this stops all the way to your hem like that so that is going to serve as your like your hample your hample cuff so i'm placing it like this and then i'm going to shape it just like this so after shaping it i'm going to come in with my scissors 
and then I'm going to put this that I have. So you just place your scissors like this, you cut here, and then I'm hanging a little allowance for so and then cut like this. So this is the shape that you're going to have. So if you're going to be lining this, you just need to leave it like this, and then you you sew it on the upper part here so that you can turn it neatly. And then this side, you don't need to turn it because you are still going to sew this side to your ankle but if you're not going to line it this is just going to serve as two sleeve for you all you just need to do now is to open it up on this side and then you're going to aim it okay by just folding over like twice you're going to aim it but you can see now that we have stretch on this part which is very important this can stretch to i think up to remember we worked with nine inches we work just nine inches and we had the allowance wide folding so that's going to be about 10 but you can see this can stretch to i think 13 inches or so so it's going to give the person enough room it's not going to be too tight on the person wearing it so a gaza phrase a lot you may not use a gaza you can use chiffon fabric you can use crepe you can use soft crepe so fabrics like that is going to work well for you so now i'm going to put, take it to the same machine now and then turn it on the upper part so that i can show us how to fold how to drip this so i am going to turn this now i can see that it is neatly finished on the upper part as well and this is what it looks like on the lower part so the next thing is to pleat it so for this i'm going to be working with this body i already have and then this is going to be shown to the off shoulder so this is almost like a tube top so you work with your actual regular bodies so what i'm going to mention now is what i have on this handhold area i have about four and a half inches so depending on what you want basically you can gather this anyhow you want you can gather all of this to the four and a half inches that you have so that you just sew it to your bodies but for me what i'm going to do i don't want to gather it fully so from the four and a half inches now i'm going to measure three inches okay and leave that part ungathered so i'm going to measure like three inches and leave it ungathered so i'm going to gather this upper part or pleat it into the one and a half inches so that everything is going to make up the four and a half that i need i hope you understand this so this is what i'm going to have something like this by the time i'm done i'll do the same thing on this other side i'm going to gather this and then it will give me something like this so another way you can do this is to gather everything fully through your handful measurements which is four and a half inches in this case you are going to gather this to four and a half gather this to four and a half and when you drop it this is what it's going to look like so i'll just go ahead now and gather mine to what i have there so i'll leave like three inches and then gather the rest to make up the four and a half inches and then i'll bring you back to show us what we have okay so just like i explained you can see now that this upper part here is gathered and then we have exactly our measurements on the lower part okay so like i said if you want you can also gather everything everything from here to here you gather it to the four and a half inches and then when you turn it this is what it looks like you can see the gathering on the upper part and then the lower part is just the same so this is what the sleeve is looking like now so i'll take it to the mannequin so that we can have a better view of this sleeve but this is what we have right now okay so this is what the sleeve is looking like on the mannequin you can see that the upper part is just splitted while the lower part remains the same so now i did this on the on an off shoulder sleeve for the front and the thumbnail is a tube so i decided to make this back a tube it's just the same process you can see just like we have remember the tube is usually straight so you just decide on where you want to pleat you had your pleating while the other one is going to remain unpleated just like we have it here so now this sleeve can be started as an off shoulder sleeve like we have here and you can also place it on your shoulder like this which is the main reason why which is the main reason why we emphasize that you you work with a fabric that has stretch on the bias so that it can be comfortable 
around here so now this is what we have as a full shoulder and this is what it looks like as an off shoulder sleeve you can see the drips that we have around here so mine is just short because my fabric is not too much so if you want yours to be fuller or longer you just need to increase the length that you're working with and then you want it to even drop more on this side you just increase the width as well remember i used about eight inches for mine so you can increase it to 10 to 12 inches i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye